work has been taking place recently behind the current passenger building, perhaps to prepare for hydro connections to the new dock. The pace of progress and construction of the utility building is little short of amazing. The area on the north side of the dock, where the new passenger building will stand, is also making clear progress. Overall, whilst the ferry continues to provide regular service, the scene on the Kingston Dock is a busy one. The utility building is gaining internal walls and substantial conduit runs. Meanwhile, on the other side of the dock, considerable quantity of reinforcing rod is going into what can only be the foundations of the passenger terminal. Down on the north side of the finger dock, welders are busy but it's unclear just what they're doing. An accumulation of materials makes it quite clear that there's a lot of work ahead. Off the dock itself, in and on the water, there are major developments. Aquatic Engineering Canada, a national leader in dock protection systems, has been installing a bubbler system. Specialized tubing is laid on the bottom, connecting diffusers create a bubble pattern to protect the dock from ice. The diffusers are laid in a plan drawn up by specialist engineers in a manner that will protect the dock and visiting vessels from ice. Precise placement is critical and the barge is stationed very accurately using special positioning motors and GPS coordinates. Each run of about 30 in all is a testament to the skill and accuracy of the team involved. As we approach the end of the month, another on-water team from Ottawa Dive Services reappeared on scene. They were clearly using a diver the precise nature of their work is not known. I'll close there with a look at the two areas of principal interest, 
and invite you to consider subscribing in order to ensure that you receive future updates. Thanks for watching.